Hi YouTube, it is Wednesday and it is December the 9th and it's 2015. And I'm just coming to you with this very short video to um, let my subscribers and people who watch my videos know that I'm doing okay. I haven't made a video in, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so. Um, been a little busy and stuff and I was a little sick and things like that so I haven't made a, um, a video in a while but just coming to you to let you know that I'm doing okay um, I still have the problems with the people you know like um, following me around and buzzing me and different things like that so none of that has changed all of that is the same and um, you know they still um, you know set up people to come into stores and stuff where I am, not as much as they used to, but they still do it. And, um, you know, still with the V2K and stuff and the talking back and forth and stuff. And it's like, you know, good person versus bad person. And this one is talking about that when it's just like a whole big complete farce. It's just ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So I don't pay them no in mind. Okay. Simple. But, um, I said I got to make this short video and um, because I'm going to make another video after this and maybe say over the next couple of days I'm trying to put it together. I started it tonight to, you know, put the video together and sorry about my voice. I'm kind of a little bit hoarse, but anyway, and I have to talk a little low because like I said, I do live with a family member, but anyway, um, I said, um, I would just get on here because I wanted to give you a little food for thought. I was on the net and um, was looking at something that is called um, Fibonacci. It's not, it's, the, this is the man's name. His name is um, Fibonacci. I should have had my, um, my little notes with me. But anyway, it's, um, it's called a Fibonacci sequence. And, um, wait a minute, let me, let me just read. So I may or I may not cut this. But anyway, this is my little, my trusty little notebook. And, um, I just put like a few notes on here and I'm not finished, um, doing, um, the research and different things like that. But I did a little tiny bit of research and I'm going to spell this for you because anybody who sees this video and um, who subscribes to my channel I want you guys to look this up because this kind of stuff is not taught in school they don't teach you it in, in um, college or anywhere but um, you know I watched a couple of videos on YouTube so you can see a few videos on YouTube about this and it's called a Fibonacci sequence and I'm going to spell the name Fibonacci is F-I-B-O-N-A-C-C-I -C -C -I sequence or a golden spiral. Um, let me just make sure I give y'all the right information so I don't want to be skipping around and stuff like that. Okay yeah that's other stuff that I told y'all about before that's on there. And it's, um, this Fibonacci sequence is like a sequence of numbers. And according to, um, people that have studied it, scientists and stuff like that, this sequence is, um, everything in nature is made up of this sequence, including people, humans, whatever. And even with our hands, you know, as simple as the digits on your hand it's um this sequence like when you look at from here to here and from here to here and from here to here it's made up of this fibonacci sequence and they don't teach this in school and some of the videos on um on youtube said that they think it's a conspiracy and stuff and you know scientists and whatnot do not want people to know about this fibonacci sequence because it would point back to a creator okay so this is probably why they keep it out of schools and stuff because you know with things that are scientific everything has to be proved and they have to have proof and all that kind of stuff and i understand where they're coming from but i also understand where our creator is coming from and he trumps any place that they're coming from 
But anyway, it's a sequence of numbers, and I'm just going to read off a few of these numbers, but then you can look it up yourself and, you know, maybe look at some of the videos that are on YouTube. Okay, it would start with zero, then one, then one, then two, then three, then five, then eight, then 13, then 21, then 34, and then 55, and then 89, and then 144, and so on. And um, how they get the numbers, it starts with zero, and then um, the next number is found by adding up the two numbers before that number, okay? And they said um, examples of this uh, Fibonacci sequence is like a Nautilus because it, it's like a spiral and everything is a spiral. And I watched one video on uh, here on YouTube and they were saying something to the effect and asking if, if God was a mathematician. Okay, well, he's a creator, so he knows how to put things together. And this is his fingerprint to let us know that he does exist. Okay, he does. We do have a creator because if you see anything in the world, like I can pick up this glass right here. Somebody had to make this glass. This glass didn't just come by a big bang and somebody didn't just blow something up and it made this glass as nice as it is. OK, somebody had to plan this and design it and make it. And it's the same thing with the universe and it's the same thing with people, animals, plants, everything, everything that is in the world. We all have a creator. And then also, um, they call this Fibonacci sequence, they call it a, um, it's called a, the golden rule. In other words, everything basically stems from this Fibonacci sequence of numbers. And um, I should have put the man's name. They call him Fibonacci, but he has a different name. But I'm going to do a little bit more research and then come back with a better video. But I just wanted to make this um, small video to get you guys to look this up. Fibonacci sequence. and Read up on it. Tell anybody who you know about this. Because this is concrete proof that we have a creator. Because even though scientists want to say that, no, we came from apes and we came from um, one cell amoebas and all those types of things. And they, none of those things are true. And um, scientists know this, but they have to do their job. They have to do what they have to do. And um, this sequence also um, has to do with our planets and different things like that. And the funny thing about it is um, last night I was like sort of in and out of sleep and I always keep my TV on the um on the spiritual channels like you know um TBN and now I watch this one that's called The Word. It's like a um a, a channel and they say um it's like a black channel or something like that. But I mean they have all sorts of people on there, white, black, Hispanic, Indians, I mean everybody is on there, you know. And um they, um, there was a, a gentleman on there, I don't know who it was, sometimes in the middle of the night when I hear somebody with a good sermon, like I will get up and, you know, make sure I find out who that person is. And then I will just like maybe key it in onto my phone or something like that so that I can look at it the next day. But I didn't, um, I didn't get up and see who this guy was, but I think I have a, a, a kind of a good idea of who it might have been, but I'm going to look it up and do some more research with this man and what he was saying in essence was um, when you see the universe and okay the earth turns even if people are so ignorant as to say that um, that we came here by a big bang theory which is what scientists believe in and what a lot of people believe in because they don't believe in God they don't believe in a creator he says okay well what makes you know the the universe turn what makes the sun shine what makes the earth turn around what makes the earth have such a perfect balance that when it's cold on one side it's hot on the other side it's a perfect balance that was put together by 
a creator, okay? Because everything in the world is created by someone or something, okay? You can't just pick up something like this and say it came from a Big Bang Theory, okay? Somebody had to design this and come up with it and figure out how they wanted it to look and how they wanted it to be, how they wanted it to operate and everything. And it's the same thing with our creator but on a larger scale because he has created everything that's in the world and it's it's because of him that we came to be okay so that's food for thought this is what i want you all to think about and um i'll give you like some extra uh information as i come up with it because like i said that was really the one of the major reasons why i got on on here to do videos and stuff. I got on here to do videos to talk about what was being done to me by these people. People who don't know me, they don't know anything about me other than lies that they have been told about people that uh, dislike my family and, and dislike myself, and that's that, okay? But um, I came on here to do that, to document all of that, all the things that you know, these people do to me and all the things that other people say that they do and different things like that. But my major reason for getting on here was to try to bring people back to the Almighty because we are in end times and some people may believe it, some people may not. We, we don't have a lot of time, okay? If it was like the 1700s or the 1600s, okay, we got a good amount of time. But I think we are in like the last... The, you know, the last decades of life as we know it. And um, it's not going to be long before Jesus comes back to claim the world. And the only thing I'm trying to do is to get people to understand it, that we do have a creator and we do have a entity that is supreme, that is above us, that created all of us and everything that's down here. This is what I wanted to do. And like I said, I have another channel, but I only have like, like maybe two or three videos on there and I am putting stuff together on there and, and um but I said in the meantime I can still come on here and you know give you a little information as I find it out. So in closing, like I said, um look up this um this person by the name of Fibonacci is spelled F-I-B-O-N-A-C-C-I, -C -C -I, and it's a Fibonacci sequence. And this is basically, uh, it shows you everything and all the numbers and how everything all correlates. And we had to have a creator that was so intelligent that this creator designed all of these things and used numbers and everything is a sequence of numbers like a pineapple. Like if you look at some of the videos on on here on YouTube, like just the way a pineapple is designed because a pineapple was designed. It didn't just come from nowhere. It had a designer, our creator. So I want you to look at this and um, think about this. And, and when you look at it, look at it with an open mind. Even if you are a non-believer and you don't believe in God and you just think it's a big bang and whatever, however you feel, or if you are a believer, all I'm saying is to have an open mind and look at this because it would have to be a reason why this is left out. Because if they could teach us everything else about um about the universe and the planets and stuff and how they line up all the planets line up perfectly and different things like that. Why did they decide to not teach us about this Fibonacci sequence? And like I said, some people on here that have put videos up on YouTube have, have said that they think it's just a conspiracy so that people will not believe in God and they will believe more in man and put all of their trust in man as opposed to putting it in our creator. Okay, so I'm going to close out now because I didn't want to make this into a long video just to say hi to all my subscribers and hi to all of the people that watch my videos and let you guys know that I'm doing okay. I'm doing as, as good as possible. You know, when you are under this kind of duress and you're under this kind of stress and, you know, people are doing these things to you and wherever you move, Move. They're like, you know, underneath you. They are beside you. They talk to everybody where you live. They will go wherever you are, wherever you move and lie to these people, you know, make up. Ooh, I got to watch this. I got my undershirt on. Y'all got to excuse me. That's my undershirt.
<laughs> to keep to keep warm when I go outside. It's kind of cold today. I didn't want that to show. But anyway, um, this is what these people do. You know, they will move uh, underneath you, above you, beside you, and then every single person, they will put them on alert and tell them like a pack of lies and different things about you and this, that, and the other, and you're being under investigation and you're being watched for this and you're being watched for that. My question is, why didn't they watch those people, those two people in San Bernardino that that um, just recently killed all of those people and put a bunch of them in the hospital? Why weren't those people watched? Why were they allowed to stockpile guns and all kinds of stuff like that? And why weren't they watch why didn't they v2k them because if i know for a fact if they were to v2k them and do all the things to them that they do to me these people would never be able to operate and they would never be able to do anything they would never be able to accomplish anything and they wouldn't be able to do anything so that is my question why weren't these people watched why were they allowed to stockpile all of these guns and ammunition and whatever and all kinds of stuff that they had and that they could go out and and just seamlessly kill 14 people and injure a whole bunch of other people. How is that accomplished? And how do you do that when you can have people like myself who are in their house and they're not doing anything, they're not bothering anybody, they don't have no criminal records of no kind, nowhere, and if there was any, it would all be made up, and we would go to court to prove that all of that, but there is none. I have FBI papers and stuff when I used to do work as a um, nurse's aide, and I have all kind of stuff. I could get FBI stuff right now, and it, it would show nothing on there, okay? Simple. So, okay, we all know where all of that is coming from because these people, they want to um, slander you in order to get people to hate you and different things like that. And like I told you in previous videos, there is um, at least one person that I know that is the mastermind of all of this. And this person doesn't even come from this country. He comes from one of those countries with those people that blow up buildings and shit like that. He comes from Lebanon. That's where he comes from. That's where his family is from. And so um, my question also is, how is this man allowed to operate in this country and do the things that he is doing to me and, and um, possibly to other people? How is he allowed to do this? And nobody puts a stop to him and nobody puts, you know, the, you know, the kibosh on him and stop him from harassing and bothering me. And like I said, I'm going to make um, another video or maybe a couple more videos and I will talk a little bit more about this person and other people who are involved with him because he, what he does is he gets people and he pays them all off because like I told you, he, he will broadcast in here all the time that he's a billionaire with a B. Okay, he says that he's a billionaire and he has all kinds of money and he's a diplomat and stuff and nobody can touch him. And um, he is a part of a shadow government and he he is over the regular government and stuff like that. This is what this is the kind of things that he broadcasts in here, you know? And then he gets all sorts of people in on it and then he pays them all off to come after me and harass me and do what he's doing to me because I think um what it is is he is very envious and jealous of things that he has found out and discovered about myself and about my family. And it bothers him because him and his family evidently must not be anything. Okay. Cause if you got a good heritage, then you don't need to look at somebody else's family and envy what their family or what they are. Okay. So this goes out to you mother and you know who you are. Okay. Mother and you know who you are. You are a piece of sugar, honey, iced tea. Okay. I'm gonna spell it out. S H I T and you can kiss the blackest part of you know what okay back there all right this goes out to you and you know who you are you old skinny butt every time um i used to see him he's always you know um in cars and different things like that and in disguises and, and stuff and on tv and um disguises and all kind of stuff like that but anyway that's for another video but that's just a small portion of it and 
he's just very envious and very jealous. And I don't think he's uh, made anything of his life. He hasn't, he hasn't come to anything. Everything he's had, he's got, has been handed to him because they broadcast all the stuff in here. You know, they broadcast and talk about all the things in here. And he talks about himself in here and stuff like that. I could tell you a whole bunch about him. And all the things that he do, and he's nasty as hell, and he puts pictures of himself up on the internet where you don't see his face with the bottom of his body, where, you know, showing his private parts, and I have two of those pictures because he sent, he sent um, at least one of those pictures so that I could see it, so I have that picture, and I have another one that I found in another place on the internet, and I'm going to post those pictures. I mean, of course, I'll block it out so you can't see it, but you will see what it is that I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I'm sending some love um, your way to all of my subscribers and anybody who watches this video. And like I said before, look up this Fibonacci sequence and read up on Fibonacci and um, all the things that he discovered and um, how he linked everything to the universe and everything is with numbers and it all has to do with the same identical sequence of numbers. So basically our whole bodies, everything in nature is a part of this Fibonacci sequence. So that's what I want um, anybody who watches this video, I want them to look it up. You can look at some videos here on on um, YouTube and you can also Google it and stuff and you know find out some information and then you will see for yourself that um, we do have a creator. Okay, so I'm about to sign off now because I think I've been on here long enough. I'm already <laughs> up to like 21 minutes. We wanted to do like a little 10 minute video. But anyway, um, send the love your way. I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving and I hope you're getting ready for Christmas and don't forget what Christmas is all about. It's a celebration of the birth of our Lord, okay, of Jesus Christ. That's what it's really all about. And gifts and things is nice because I was out there hustling today getting gifts for my grandkids and stuff but it's it's still we don't want to forget what christmas really means all right so i'm closing i'll see you in my next video i love you all and come back and see me because i do miss you when i don't see you and i love you all bye see you in my next video i love you bye